choir led the crowd singing the school song, and the Indians took the field for some preseason football. Welcome to the first episode of KFOI TV 15 News. Fans enjoyed this and much more at the Meet the Indians night last Friday. Today we have announcements about National Honor Society, Kids Congress, and AUP forums. Plus, information on email access, college visits, and a wrap-up of Meet the Indians. All this and more is coming up on KFOI TV 15 News. Good morning, Indians. I'm Frankie Wanamaker. And I'm Nehemiah Deason. It is Monday, August 26, 2013, and here are today's news and announcements. The National Honor Society will induct new members tonight in the Performing Arts Center. Starting at 7, the organization's first officers meeting will be in Wednesday in room 29 at 2.30. Then the first members meeting will be September 4th at 2.30 in room 29 as well. This is a mandatory meeting. Members who cannot make this meeting must have a signed excuse note submitted to Ms. Dobbin Deke in room 28 prior to the meeting. UMKC will be visiting the school on September 4th at 1.30 p.m. Those interested in visiting with the recruiter can stop by the Counseling Center for more information. Students interested in Kids Congress will meet during start time this Thursday in Mrs. Stock's room. AUP forms must be turned in by this Friday. If students do not submit the forms by then, computer accounts will be disabled on September 4th. Those who need a new form may stop by the Media Center to pick one up. The administration and teachers would like to remind you to check your email daily. Important information, including assignments, scholarship opportunities, and updates are sent to your Fort Osage school account, and you don't want to miss them if you are unsure of how to access your email account, stop by the Media Center to find out so you don't miss important information. The weather was almost perfect on Friday night as fans took, the adva took advantage of the Meet the Indians festivities at the school's football stadium. The crowd got their first look at the band as it performed the national anthem and its halftime show. The Indianettes also previewed their show on the 50-yard line and the cheerleaders showed off their talents for the fans by performing high-flying stunts flips, and cheers. Project Grad even had a mechanical bull for people to ride. For a $5 donation, fans could try to stay on for as long as, they pop, for long as possible. But the main event was football, and fans got a glimpse of the future Indians as the Pop Warner teams faced off in scrimmages at both ends of the field. Then the varsity, JV, and C teams took to the gridiron to strut their stuff. The teams faced off for 40 minutes, and fans got to see the number one defense and offense make big plays. Head coach Ryan Schartz was pleased with the team's performance and the amount of people who came to support all the students. The administration would like to remind students that parking stalls 001 through 005 in the senior parking lot are reserved for staff. Please do not park in the, these spaces. And if you haven't picked up your student ID yet, they are in the media center. You can also get a badge holder to put it in. Replacement IDs are $5, so don't lose yours. If you have announcements or a birthday you would like to air on KFOI TV 15 News, please email Mr. Mary with you by 3 p.m. the day before you would like to, your announcements to run. Please include the dates you would like your announcement to air and the phrase daily announcement in your subject line. Only official organizations and clubs of the school will be allowed to air announcements. That's all we have for you today, Indians. Thanks for watching KFOI TV 15 News, and have a great day.